Hello everybody, what is up all you beautiful, beautiful people? My name is Alex and um, I'm here today to show you some more of my updated Minecraft world. Um, uh, I've mainly been working on just, you know, general stuff, um, expanding the chicken farm, adding a second platform over here. Um, I've also built this mob trap or dark room or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's quite effective. Um, I have some footage of it from earlier today or well uh, earlier this week actually and uh, as you can see my wheat farm is very effective. It's uh, giving a huge uh, yield. Uh, it gives about three stacks total of wheat when it's all grown and that includes both sides. Eventually I will of course uh, have this side be like pumpkins and such but uh, for now um <coughs> since I don't have any pumpkins or uh, pumpkins or melon seeds um, there's not much I can do about that so I'm just um, you know doing wheat because wheat is always good for bread and breeding and I'm going to be doing a lot of breeding once I bring up more animals. That is another something I've been curious about. How the hell am I going to get the breeding done? Because, well, um, more precisely, how the hell am I going to get the cows and sheep and pigs up here? I'm thinking a water ladder of some description, but uh, it's actually not that easy to figure out. I mean, it's going to be very very tall and it needs to accommodate pretty much both sizes of animals that includes sheep and cows and of course what's the other one? sheep, cows and I have chickens oh yeah I need pigs but uh, there's a difference in physical size on the pigs and the cows and sheep are the same sizes. Sheep, uh, no, sheep are the same size as pigs, of course. Um, <coughs> so it's going to be a little bit difficult to fi figure out how to uh, transport them up here. Anyways, um, so yeah, I guess I'll just get uh, this done. Uh, <laughs> man, this chicken farm is getting a little bit out of hand, but you know damn effective. I have like an entire box full of uh, full of uh, eggs over there and um, I see in this episode we see me building a little bit more on this farm mob trap, the dark room um, expanding the platforms and uh, yeah, generally just fiddling around anyways, uh, please remember to rate, comment, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode and remember that the person who gets first on this video will get a shout out in the next video and an annotation to their video uh, channel thingy, um, YouTube channel is what I'm trying to say and uh, yeah I guess I'll just spend some time trying to farm up some more <coughs> stone because I need a lot more to finish up this platform <laughs> then eventually I'll um, probably make this whole platform into like a storage room also once the um, once I get an enchanting table some uh, obsidian and diamond I can raise this platform by one and I will be able to one hit punch them to death for the XP I'll figure out some way to effectively make that work but yeah hope you guys enjoy see you later here's the footage from earlier So, I'm just um, filling in these uh, furnaces. I'm going to be cooking up some more stone. Let's see. It's going to take a while for all this to cook up. 
get ready for use. Why do I keep picking up this tank? This tank of 39 there. Mm. Just my eyes automatically wander to that spot on my inventory. I don't know. Anyways, so while this is working, um, I'm not going to be sitting and watching it. I'm going to go do some harvesting. My wheat farm, I decided to make this a wheat farm for now um, as well. It's quite expensive. I think I filled out every spot. Just so I have a lot of wheat in stock. I'll replace uh, this wheat with um, pumpkins and melons in a while. But for now, um, I'm gonna go do some harvesting of chickens. Actually, I want to show you guys something. This is actually borderline creepy or scary. It's very scary, actually. Check this out. <laughs> Man, I love this. It's, like I said, scary, though. Jesus. Holy crap. Man, so you can just run around spam clicking until you're all out of wheat. <laughs> and there's baby chickens all over the place. But I'm gonna be harvesting at least one full stack of um, chicken here. I think I had about 60 or no. Closer to 80 chickens when I checked the entities uh, earlier on. After I picked up all the eggs, of course. Hmm. That's not cool. Guess I'll go make a sword, a new sword, and <laughs> I'll continue killing off those chickens. But. I think maybe I wanna feed them up a little bit more. At least a few of them. Let's see, make a quick sword. Uh, a couple of those. A few sticks, and um, we're good to go. Man, why did I pick up that? Oh well, whatever. Yes, I knew I left the sticks. I intended to do that. See, I could have actually just killed all of these, but um, because I have so many eggs, <laughs> I'm just spam clicking my ass off. Usually the ones that are in love mode are left behind. So the ones, only the ones that want wheat actually follow you, I found, at least for a little while. Hmm, that's it. Now to kill off uh, a couple more. Of the grown-ups at least. So yeah, I'll say that the uh, chicken farm is a huge success. Man, this is quite chaotic. Nearing one full stack now. Oh, I didn't mean to kill the little ones. Oh well. Now, <laughs> look at all the eggs. That's silly. 
I can spend like two minutes standing in here and I'll have five, six stacks of eggs. Straight up. I'll keep the eggs in case I ever run out of uh, chickens. So yeah, this is my little uh, tree farm I'm working on. And this is my other type of farm. I'll uh, get back to that. Working a little bit more on that and I'll show you guys progress once this is all finished up. Oh, I didn't fill this one. Oh well. So yeah. <coughs> you might wonder what this is. Well, I use this to stand in. Stand AFK inside this box. Close it up. So that chickens can grow up, the wheat can spread, or wheat can grow, and the grass can spread while I'm AFK. So, yeah. I think I have like a whole lot of uh, days played, times played, worlds played, saves, multiplayer games, minutes played. Point, no, 0 0.58 days? What? How does that work? Hmm. Mobs killed. <laughs> Mostly chickens, probably. Damage taken. Well, oh, that's a lot of fall damage. Damage dealt. Items dropped. Hmm. Oh well. Anyways, I'll get back to working on this and I'll give you a progress report later on. Ciao. <laughs>
Um, but yeah, now that the mob farm is up and going, I'm going to have a very awesome time uh, doing both farming with endless bone meal, crap load of arrows, um, gunpowder. Yeah. So this is going to be very interesting. I actually made myself a bunch of arrows because from the chickens, which is ripe for harvesting again, I can see. <laughs> also, I harvested my wheat farm. I calculated, or well, I counted that harvesting all of the lanes here, I get exactly th three full stacks of wheat. And it requires three full stacks of seeds to re sow everything. Still need a bit of um, cobblestone around here, but I thought. No, not cobblestone, but stone bricks. But I thought that I would um, throw up fences right here, <coughs> as with all the rest of the. Uh, to mimic the rest of the uh, platforms. I'm gonna need a bit more, I see. But, uh, there is something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, something I didn't know myself. It's probably new in the patch. I can only assume it's new as part of the, um, the jungle trees. They grow in like a four wide or two by two block. So the thing is that now before you had to have spaces between the uh, saplings but that's not the issue anymore. Now you can just grow them as close to each other as you want and you have like pretty very thick rows of pure lumber that you can just mine out and pick out very easily like this. <laughs> it's very <coughs> a lot more effective um, than farming the old way. So yeah, that's something new I learned. Um, I saw it in a video, someone else's video. I believe it was Pause on Pause that showed me and apparently a f fan told him that so yeah, that's very effective. I can assume that you can use this to make like full wooden walls um, if you remove the leaves. So yeah, I got half a stack for like two minutes of work. And now with my endless bone meal, um, it's going to be very awesome. <laughs> Everything's going to be taking off a little bit more now. So I'm going to stick around and farm um, about a bunch more gunpowder and um, possibly next episode we'll go to caving. Um, explore the cave that we found in a earlier episode. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, there's a bunch of iron that I left down there. So I'm going to have to pick that up. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I've just been working on the mob trap so far. I'm gonna camp underneath here for a little while and uh, we'll see uh, see how much gunpowder we get. I'll try to get at least one stack of TNT or something. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys a little bit later for another update. So yeah, bye.